All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in the house with a ZT0640 Emerson collaboration. Here with me for a review, we can analyze the look, the sound, the feel of this bad boy. But what you have to do is three things. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. That was easy, right? Let's go ahead, check this bad boy out. ZT, classic huge box for uh, the knife that they are uh, including, I mean, why there's a lot of uh, empty space right over here a little bit of padding and a little bit of uh, a leaflet for you to uh if you want to know more a little bit about the company maintenance and etc you can check that out or you can check my videos because uh, yeah i disassembled this fella and you can see how it's done but anyways let's go ahead and start let's check the size first we get 3.6 inch long for the cutting edge and we get 4.5 five uh, no sorry uh, we get 4.7 inch long for the uh, handle overall for uh, 8.5 inches for this uh, uh kind of like we can call it like titanium frame lock these are overlays i would say you want to call it a liner lock uh, i would call it a frame lock these are overlays in carbon fiber uh, nicely made i'm not really sure about uh, the uh, color right over here but nonetheless this is a 270 dollar us made knife uh, you can see it right over here um it is a very very cool one nicely done this is designed by ernest emerson and uh it, it's a it's a pretty cool one this is like very distinctive by the way uh emerson uh like uh, um so let's start from the handle guys you get uh, titanium slabs you get carbon fiber overlays um you have a very cool chamfering going on on the scale and continues on the titanium uh, right there and you have a little bit of internal chamfering there's no internal skeletonization on this one so just remember that you um, don't really have any finger grooves just like a swooping line like that you have uh, some nice opening to disengage the lock bar right over here that's pretty good um, you have uh, a uh, standoff there's no backspacer option there's no lanyard option going on over here you have actually two standoffs um, the tip of the blade is safely recessed you kind of can feel it if you just jam the tip of your finger but it's safe so don't worry about that the overall look is pretty clean and slick i like it uh, i thought i didn't like it and i have to say that i kind of like the uh, overall look when closed and even when open nice line nice clip point going on over here um then we get uh, the hardware which is a t8 and t6 uh, pretty flush for the uh handle screws uh, keyed in uh, non-spinning pivot protruding a little bit domed on the show side pretty good to go um you even have a stainless steel lock face insert screwed in from the outside protected by this uh, uh carbon fiber overlay but you probably see it there there you go that's pretty cool that's gonna eliminate any lock stick from the contact between the titanium and the steel because titanium is just softer and is gonna have the tendency to stick to the uh, steel um, then you get to the uh, Achilles heel of this knife because it's gorgeous except for this clip which I really am not a fan of uh, the design is all right it doesn't have anything to do with the lines on this knife it's kind of not pretty let's say it's kind of lazy because it's just like a bent piece of you know sheet of metal and uh, functionality is not there i mean it's not like a, a sebenza clip which is absolutely functional really gorgeously looking but not gorgeously um, sorry looking it's gorgeously working not looking in this case you don't even have the working part because it's the entrance ramp is so shallow that you're gonna have to just do this and just stick that in the pocket it's it's not functional it's not nice it's that's yeah get rid of this uh, install a different clip you're gonna be happy 
it is reversible you can just uh, uh, mount it on the show side so it's ambidextrous but it's gonna be tip up carry only and it's gonna show this much knife uh, showing up from the pocket uh, and then you have this 3.6 inch long blade 20 cv steel cpm 20 cv steel which is the correspondent of the bowler m390 uh steel it's uh gorgeously looking blade you don't have any jimping going on you meet the thumbs disc right over here screwed in from the top with a t8 and then a little bit of swedge going on stopping right over here and then clip point and straight edge up to the sharpening choil dual tone finish uh, you have a stone washed flats you have satin uh, primary bevel zt logo looking good i mean not too obnoxious this is the part where it's getting me why you have to write the serial number emerson design or i get it. it's the model uh kai usa uh cpm 20 cv i'm not a fan of this stuff i mean it, it doesn't matter it's gonna cut the same but if you are looking at the look aspect of a knife i'm not a fan of the uh, billboarding going on right there it's quite thick behind the edge as you can see from per this perspective right over here uh, plunge grind is cool i like the dual tone finish and the fact that the swedge is matching the primary bevel thumb disc is nice uh, has some knurling as you can see from this angle over here nice and grippy right there uh, not really a finger choil but definitely a sharpening choil uh, and then you get this sound right over here that is very very nice it's it's really good like deep opening and very subdued closing uh, this is um uh, it's a very very good sound of course the action is gonna be a correspondent like an action of a washer knife like a sebenza would be you know you can you can flick it open no uh issues whatsoever but of course like yeah like really you have to wiggle it like vigorously to get the blade in the close position but i don't care you can slow roll and then just slow close and it's satisfactory i'm telling you phosphorus bronze washers are doing a great job uh, in this uh, fella right here um let's quickly check the weight because the absence of uh, internal skeletonization is going to reflect into the 4.4 44 ounces that's gonna be in your pocket uh, when you carry this fella you're not gonna feel any hotspot thanks for the low profile clip right and to the chamfer that is going on from the over um, uh, overlay to the actual set of scales beautifully done really really good there are some jimping going on on the scales over here and also like over here if you want to do a reverse grip uh, yeah you can uh, you can use uh, take advantage of that or like if you're like like this just use this which is interesting it's on the scale not on the actual uh, spine of the blade it, it's fine i really have no hot spot this part is so comfy that you forget there's a clip maybe because of the low profile maybe and um jimping here and here uh, you can easily do a uh, uh, reverse grip not so much a choke up because there's no finger choil but nonetheless this guy feels absolutely solid in the hand a little bit of texturing coming from this carbon fiber it's a little bit on the slippery side but still pretty good for the fit and finish no uh, gaps uh, it's uh, very solidly built no blade play i don't feel any uh, finger soreness by deploying this uh, from the thumb disc is pretty good nicely rounded off a little bit of uh, knurling it's gonna add that grippy feel to it so it's it's very good of course nothing is rattling nothing is shaking um you have uh, um uh, you know it, it's very nicely made i have to say guys it's uh, the action is pleasant it's a washer's action all right there's no guillotine effect it's not really fidgety uh, like i don't know for example like you know this is a flipper this is the skaha it's like you can like you see do this no this is not the case you're not going to be able to play like that with this but you're going to be able to do this and that's a gorgeous feeling you can even do like a slow roll like that and a slow close like so and that is pleasant it transmits to a nice feeling to your hand trust me it's very very good glassy smooth 
not guillotine, no, no, no drop shot, no flipper action, no bearing, no, 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 no. This is a solid old school built knife washer. So you can take this in the mud, take it apart, put it back together. It's gonna, it's gonna come back together like that. The detent also is very nicely dialed in. Uh, there's no detent bar ramp, but still, this thing is snappy. So really good looking knife, great ergos, nice sound. Ah, that clip just killed it a little bit for me, uh, but still we are in the clear because we can replace that. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.